Hey folks, and welcome to another video from a plain truth info. This is the Chris Haskell story. He lives in Tucson, Arizona, and for over a decade, he has been one of the biggest and most successful anti geoengineering, bringing chemtrail awareness to the communities of Tucson. And he is being brought up on six, six felony count charges because the government, the FBI, the NSA, the Tucson police and the bioterrorism units have arrested him twice. They've beaten him to near death. They put him in the hospital. They've attacked him with attack dogs. They put tanks in front of his house. They've surrounded him with SWAT teams and cordoned off a mile area. Uh, in order to try and find him and they've made his life a living hell this is the document that has been filed by the Tucson police and the federal FBI government against mr. Haskell bringing him up on bioweapons charges and they admit they admit that the plastic bag with, and the, with the three signs that he did not even place out there, he made the signs, but he did not place them, had white powder, that simulated powder they thought was an IE, possible IED a device used by ISIS and terrorists. <clears throat> and so it called out for a Nash, for FBI and the SWAT teams to come up with over 26 people, including helicopters and tanks, to arrest him, and they sick German shepherds on him. All he was doing was putting the signs up, and they planted this evidence. Evidence. They admit that it is just a harmless powder <clears throat> of cardicil. It's a thickening agent. It has nothing to do with bioterrorism, yet he's still facing six felony counts for putting up thousands and thousands of signs. Here he's painted his car to bring awareness to anti geoengineering engineering and chemtrails. <clears throat> they put in his car in his, his his home, his family home, his mountain home. They put sugar in his ATV vehicle, which caused him to crash, which put him in the hospital again. They raided his homes. They trashed him several times. They beat up on his father, 86 years old, and 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 handcuffed him uh, while they while they ransacked his home. And they've made his life a living hell. He's lost his job. He's broke, and he's alone. His high-powered attorney left him in jail for several uh, weeks, or for uh, I think it was eight days, ten days, uh, until he came up with $2,500 to pay the attorney, and when he paid him, the attorney came and got him out of jail, and the attorney hasn't been around for him since this happened back in March of 2017. His court date coming up in Tucson is July 30th, and he's not prepared because his attorney hasn't even done discovery of the evidence that the police say is the white powder that they're holding him on these felony charges, six felony counts, where he's looking at 15 to 20 years in jail. Folks, he is being used as an example to all of us. Just like the Dr. Molaski, who I published yesterday on, it was jailed, lost her job, and went broke, Ph.D. doctor, for disclosing that vaccines are causing harmful injuries, especially to our children. We need to wake up. They're using these activists now as examples to the rest of us to tell us to shut up and to stay in our place and to be obedient. But Mr. Haskell would not listen. As soon as he got out from being beaten by the police dogs in the hospital where he had to have over 28 stitches in his legs, he went out and made over a thousand signs and kept at it. He's a force to be reckoned with. He's what we need to rally around here in the truth community. I'm including in the show liner notes anything you can do to help him in PayPal. If any of you out there are any attorneys that can help him, he needs to have legal representation. He's not getting it. <clears throat> He's lost his job. He's living with his dad, and he needs our help. So I'm calling out all the truther communities. I'm calling out my 100,000 subs. I'm asking all of you. If you cannot donate anything to help this man, if you can at least send him a note and tell him that you support him and tell him that he is loved and tell him he's not alone and tell him that we are going to support him through this ordeal and this process and we are going to get him off from these bogus charges from the FBI by bringing awareness and attention and we will not be silenced. This is one of our own folks. This is we need to come around this man. We need to support him in every way. So I'm calling you out. I'm begging. I'm asking you. I'm pleading with you to share this video. And the next one I'm doing that is an hour-long interview with Mr. Haskell I just did yesterday, which explains his plight, his story, which you'll find horrendous. This is the government today coming down. They're bullying us, 
Remember the anti-bullying? They're bullying us and they're showing no mercy <clears throat> and they're using Mr. Haskell as an example. So please, please contact Mr. Haskell. Do what you can. Spread this far and wide and let's stop the madness or it's going to get much worse. Thank you for listening to Plain Truth, and we appreciate any support you can give Mr. Haskell. Here's his email. Thank you.